Around the world, we've made extraordinary progress in the fight against poverty. Together, we've successfully reduced child mortality and world hunger while increasing the availability of healthcare and education. However, this progress on tackling extreme poverty is now under threat. It's being undermined by extreme inequality. In 2014, just 85 people have as much wealth as the poorest half of humanity, and it's getting worse. Seven out of 10 people now live in countries where the gap between rich and poor is bigger than three decades ago. While this is affecting all of us, those living in poverty are suffering the most as the concentration of wealth and resources leaves them behind. In Zambia alone, despite strong economic growth over the past seven years, the number of people living below the poverty line grew to 74%. So how is this happening? Let's for a moment imagine that you're very rich and wealthy. Your wealth gives you power and influence to pressure governments into creating rules and policies that favor you. For example, by letting you pay less tax or make laws that allow you to pay your workers less money than they need to live a decent life. As these rules are rigged in your favor, you get richer and have more influence and more power. A vicious circle is formed. Now, let's assume you're not one of the super rich. Like most of us, you're living in a system that isn't designed for you, paying your fair share of taxes but not getting an equal voice to influence decisions. Decent healthcare and education may be out of your reach because the government doesn't have the taxes to fund it, and low wages make it difficult to provide for you and your family. If you're a woman, you'll find this even more difficult because of other elements of inequality working against you. Inequality is not accidental or inevitable. It's the result of deliberate policy choices by the people in power. But we can change this. With your help, we can get governments to reverse these policies. We can push for fairer tax systems and the closure of tax loopholes so the richest companies and individuals all pay their fair share, like you do. We can call for governments to use that money to make sure free public health and education are available for everyone. This isn't an unrealistic goal. Just 1.5% of the combined wealth of all the world's billionaires could fill the annual shortfall in funds needed to provide health services in the world's poorest countries and pay for every child in the world to go to school. We need your help to highlight these issues and hold those that are cheating the system and society to account. Join us and the millions of others who are committed to reducing the gap between the rich and the rest. Together, we'll even it up.